And welcome back to LTS. As I mentioned earlier, we will be talking with members of the uh, rugby club. I, I, I had it wrong earlier on and they corrected me. So I'm going to introduce these gentlemen and they would give you the correct information. So I have with me Coach Peter George Bacchus and uh, David Jamel, Jamel no, David. That's Ross Navarro. Not Ross Navarro. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. So Thank you very give much. me the correct. We are the Trinidad and Tobago National Under 19 team and our association is the Trinidad and Tobago Rugby Football Union. Football TTRFU. Union. Okay, okay. You see, I, I, I associate football with, uh, with football. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I, I get that. Um, let me just get some background information, though, on the club. Uh, when was the association uh, formed, basically? Oh, well, the TTRFU has been formed for many years. Many years. It's formed from since, uh, I think, in the 1960s, you know, um, as the association. I mean, we are the under-19 team that is in a tournament, you know, that is a NACRA, which is the North American and Caribbean Rugby, rugby, Asso Asso rugby Association, right. right? Which is NACRA. And we, every year, there is a tournament, you know, a regional tournament, uh, consisting from different islands around the area, you know. So there's Mexico. In this, in this year's tournament, we have uh, Mexico, Saudi USA, Barbados, um, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, with a second tier of uh, Turks and Caicos, Bermuda, um, St. Vincent, and BVI. And these are the club, these are the countries that will be a part of the yes. under 19. Yes, tournament. this will be a part of the under 19 tournament from the 12th to the um, 19th of July. July. And uh, how many clubs in terms of rugby? I mean, as I was saying to the guys earlier, you know, you hear a lot about football clubs in Trinidad, but uh, is rugby? A, a well recognized uh, would you say it's a well recognized sport at this time in Trinidad? I, I'd say it's um, a well recognized sport within the fraternity itself. Not that many people outside would know the rules as you, right. you realize um, but within the fraternity I think there are 12 teams this year between yeah. 10 and 12 teams. teams. Yeah. 12 um, teams locally? Mm -hmm. 12 teams locally in the first division. Okay okay. Um, and it's been going on for a very long time. They have some well-recognized teams and some good quality rugby players have come out of here and gone foreign overseas to play in European rugby and such. But um, it's, it's pretty well-recognized, but mostly within its own family. Right. As, I like the way you said European because, um, you know, I, I was just doing some, some reading, and you know, that's so I can mm -hmm. get to know more about rugby. Mm -hmm. So can you just tell us, the viewers, what is the... Uh, Different, even if if it's the same. I know there's the uh, Australian uh, rules, and then there's the Six Nation Cup. Is is it different from there? Is, the there are that we have here? yes. There are three types. There are three types of rugby. There is union. There is league, right. and then there, oh, there's the Aussie rules. Now Aussie rules is predominantly based in Australian rules. Right. So when you see they, they they put the ball down and they jump and it look kind I don't of wild. Think they played anywhere else. Yeah, okay. you know. So hence <laughs> that, why it's, yeah, that's okay. just Aussie okay. rules. Okay. Now league league and union are kind of the same but just different. League is uh, the pitch is set up like um, American football. You know, their lines wow. and everything. You know, where you just see and they don't really make the hit the hit tackles. You know, it's just more hit, go down, get back up, get back. You know. As in union is more of a game, is more of a game play that, that everybody kind of associates with. Okay, and just going back a bit, I know you said um, it is recognized here. What is the, uh, I know you have youth development programs. How has that been going and what is the uh, reaction or the exposure like? Well, I was actually part of, um, I think, the first youth team to go on tour for, for the school boys which was probably um, one of the best developmental experiences in my rugby life so far. Um, well, we, we went to Barbados and um, I know that a few teams have been training, say under 14 teams, under 17 teams. And those are the players that are coming up now that we see popping up in the under 19 division. And once they pick them up from young, and as in any sport, and yeah. I'm sure you've heard this many times, that once you pick them up from young, you spot the talent and you have them involved yeah. in the game and learning. By the time you get to a competitive level on a 19 and senior level, then you'll have a good team at the end of a few years. Definitely. What is the process like though to be, like, do I wake up and uh, decide I can be, I can play rugby? I mean, 
a lot, a lot of people are misinformed in rugby in, in, in Trinidad and Tobago. You know, they always think it's uh, for big, big players, you yes, know, and thing. But, yes. you know, anybody can play. We have women, we have underage, there's tag, there's, you know, league, there is, you know, there's, there's so many different kinds. There's sevens, you know, of which Trinidad has, has you know, um, represented twice in the Commonwealth Games already and they're going again, you know, which is true. I mean, at one point, Trinidad was rated seventh, seventh in the world of uh, rugby sevens, but nobody knows that, you know. Um, Trinidad uh, and Tobago 15 teams was actually the highest, one of the highest ranked team sport in Trinidad and Tobago in their, in their, um, in their division, division kind of thing, yeah. you know. Um, but, you know, it's, 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 it's a sport that, that, is, that is not well known, you know, in the country. But, right. you know, as you go out, I mean, we have players that play, you know, born in Trinidad, you know, and have represented, you know, the lights in England and, you know, dif different um, things at the highest level, you know, which are near full, fully Trinidadian, you know, but, you right. know, it's, it's, it's something that, that doesn't get it because I think uh, in the past, you know, because it's a sport that came from expats, you know, it was kind of labeled as um, a white, a white yeah. man sport, and, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, thing, you know, it wasn't the grassroots like it have is that, you know, that it have with football, because, you know, I think uh, in Trinidad, you know, we assess football with Brazil, you know, because it's the closest everybody knows, you know, kind of thing, but, you know, rugby is the sort, you know, it was like a lot of white people playing it and like, which is not the case, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, um, it's, 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 it's kind of sad, but now that, you know, with the exposure of, of stations, you know, and you see it a lot more, you know, there, there are a lot of people that can, I mean, you know, with rugby, um, uh, for the U.S., I mean, they, 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 they had a fellow on the seventh circuit, you know, and he only played the game probably about f for six weeks. Wow. You know, and he, <laughs> no, but he was one of the top 40 sprinters, you know, right. so he wouldn't make it, uh, the sprinting Olympic team, you know, but, you know, all of a sudden, six weeks into rugby, phenomenal player worldwide, you know, okay. so. So I want to talk some more about that, but we're going to take a short break and we will be back talking some more on rugby.